Sound like flipping Gary V, don't I? I haven't seen one comment about that yet. That sounds crazy to say. Whole process. Why do I think this is a good shot? Very smart, Oliver. I've never been good with flaps. Good morning, my spicy, saucy, Sicilian sausage. Oh, I'm turning around. I'm in the wife's car so I can see the... Oh, bloody hell. What the hell? Alright, like Rihanna, my mind has been on work, 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 work mode. All right, we've been going to town on thoughts. One of them was last night, so I've been sick, my wife's been sick, Rugi has been sick. So yesterday, like my wife could barely, oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> my wife could barely put Ruga down without him like crying and wanting attention. It's just like how kids get when they're sick. So the house was an absolute tip, which like I'm okay with. Normally she um, tidies up the house when I finish work so that when I come upstairs, it's like clean. It's kind of just like, you know, a, a, a thing between us that we agree to how things are managed. But we always, we, the, the both of us put Ruga to bed each night. And then without saying anything, we both come out of like him going to sleep and we just start clearing up the house. There's no like, I did it yesterday, it's your turn. Uh, uh, can you just do it? Like, I can't be bothered. Or going and sitting on our phones and not doing it. Like, we both know that there are things that need to be done and we respect each other enough that we just get it done. And I think, one, like the realization that that exists in the partnership and the relationship is great. And then calling it out I think <laughs> I think that's something I'm quite good at is expressing my appreciation for things. You know, just a quick comment. Like, I appreciate that we both do this. Now I know that some relationships you guys will you'll have your different roles, which is, you know, however you want to manage your relationship. So it's like, oh you put him to bed tonight, or oh, I changed the nappy last time, it's your turn. You know, however you want to manage your relationship. I think that the way that Shay and I do it is the best way for us. Hard vlog quickie. I made lots of notes. I don't want to have to unlock my device. Okay, here it is. All right. Yeah, so some of my thoughts. Oh, oh by the way, today uh, we're going to post the paid partnership so day three of the sauna, that's going to go up. And we're going to shoot the hide and seek with the drone video today. That's all prepped, ready to go. And I was having a chat to my manager, well, my ex-manager, because we um, decided that we were going to go different directions yesterday. And it was an amicable split. Like, we both, you know, seem happy enough about it. Just realizing that we had different um, desires preferences but we were having this conversation that there's going to, we're pretty sure there's going to be a shift in how partnerships are done on platforms instagram tiktok youtube you already actually see it on tiktok so right now and i'll tell you where this conversation spun out of but right now any creator that gets a paid partnership they're then creating an ad on the platform and what do these platforms, where do they make their money? From ads. But they don't see any of this cash flow. Unless the video is then used as an ad. So you would essentially say these platforms are missing out on a ton of money. A ton of revenue. So TikTok have already started doing this with a... I think it's called TikTok Creator Marketplace Buzz, I think it's called. I've mentioned it on here before, but it's a campaign that's set up within TikTok. So it's like a brand comes to TikTok, sets up a campaign. The, they define the types of creators they want. Those creators are then sent an invite and the creator can read the brief, look at how much they'll be paid, etc., and decide whether they do or don't want to partake in that or not. And that now means that if a brand comes to TikTok and says, let's just say a brand has $100,000 to 
run an influencer marketing campaign or a creator marketing campaign. As of right now, they would probably hire an agency that would take their 20 to 40%. So let's say there's 60 grand left and the agency would go and find a number of creators that they would pay that, let's say a max of 60 grand out to, to go and make content. But now with TikTok incorporating this into its own platform, the brand can go to TikTok, say, here's a hundred grand. Oh, it looks like your fee is 20%. So actually here's, you know, of that hundred grand, we're going to put 80 grand into a campaign and we're going to invite X number of influencers or creators based on the demographics you want. And now TikTok are getting a cut of that money that they previously wouldn't have. I wouldn't be surprised if something like that comes over to YouTube and Instagram in the very near future. Pod vlog quickie. What? Pod vlog quickie. All right, this is one of my automations, by the way, that, uh, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> so there's that. And then also the future, oh yeah. This is, I've had this thought fairly recently now, but it's with the, uh, where I think YouTube and content is going that it's gonna be more towards these like long style of vlogs here. And I think partnerships are gonna move away from the single or two post partnerships. And it's gonna be, look, we'd like to give you a stipend each month of the year. Here's our product, involve it as you will. Like we don't want, we don't necessarily need specific videos, but do what you want with this product. So like me, for example, um, I make these five days a week. And so a brand could be like, here's our camera and a stipend. Like you don't need to talk about it that much. Just use this camera because if I then get to a place of people enjoying my content, they're going to ask what camera I use, what gear I use. And you know, in my case, if I'm happy with the gear I use and I would like to promote it, then I would. I would, you know, put the links in my bio. I would tell people the cameras I'm using, the gear I'm using. And that goes for any dimension. It could be shoes, clothing, uh, software, food. I think it's going to be huge, but it's going to be a big outlay for brands and it's going to be a very slow return. And so it needs brands to be able to see uh, and, and really sink their teeth into where creator marketing is going in the near future. But the brands that understand that soon, the earliest, are going to be the ones that win. I reckon in the next two to three years, this will be in full flight and it will be a very common thing. Sound like flipping Gary V, don't I? All right, next piece. Oh yeah, for the sauna videos that I've been doing, I'm sorry, I, I will update how this camera is right now. I'm in my wife's car, it's, it was silly setup, whatever. The sauna video, so I, I normally try and add in parts to the video that I know people will comment on. Like not ridiculously stupid things, but just like things that people will see, question and want to comment. And one of those that I didn't realize would be such a thing was wearing socks in the sauna. Now, as I somehow made it to Finn, Finland TikTok, that has been a huge thing. The number of comments I've gotten about the socks on in the videos is huge. No, I didn't, I didn't foresee that coming. There were lots of other things I did. Like I'm wearing a, a kid's Spider-Man hooded towel. I haven't seen one comment about that yet. And I thought that would be big. But it's, I think it's, it's being in the right headspace to be able to uh, see these things and understand the impact of um, a small change in the video that can make a big change overall. By that, I mean recognizing that people are 
commenting about the socks and realizing that that is something that I should then continue to do in every single video, which I would be doing anyway because they're my merch socks. So <laughs> while I'm not trying to directly sell them, they're part of my brand. Cool, I sound nasally, don't I? Let's go inside. Hello, my budgie, fruitcake. Um, I have a cool, so this is quite interesting. Okay. I told you that I messaged Saunabox, a brand about, um, that also have a sauna for the sauna series and how it randomly came up. Anyway, they messaged back yesterday, loved the video, videos, and they like, wanted to jump on a call to discuss like their partnership terms. And he sent me a voice message, which I think is always a good thing. You know, it's not a blanket thing, but it's a nice thing from a brand when a real person sends a voice message instead of like an automated note or just like, hi, sure, email this person or something. Anyway, that was nice. So I replied with a voice note and I said, yeah, happy to jump on a call like for both of our time's sake. And I like, I'll be just be curt about this. If it's an affiliate partnership, I think I'm not particularly interested, uh, but if you're open to other options, yeah, happy to, let's have a chat. So he replied saying, uh, yeah, is affiliate, uh, let you know if we have anything else, you know, if we change that in the future. And then like a few hours later, he sent another, I obviously replied saying something on the lines of like, you know, appreciate, like, thanks for your time. Uh, maybe something in the future. He then messaged a few hours later and said, I had a chat with the team and we'd love to discuss like some other options. It's like, cool, okay. Anyway, we've set up that we're gonna have a call this morning, but it's in two hours from now. And it's currently 9 a.m. I need to go and shoot this drone video. And I was probably planning on leaving like an hour, two hours, but the timing then doesn't work. And like normally I would say, okay, I'll just, I'll maybe do something else until that call and then I'll go out and shoot afterwards. But I have time now, I may as well just jump on and go and do it. And like the reason that's important to me is because it's that mindset shift of don't put it off, just go and do it now. There's no reason that I can't go and do it right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm packing up the bits. Sorry for the snorting like a piggy. And then we're gonna go. So yeah, there's not much I have to take. But given this video is more like there's gonna be lots of moving around, it doesn't make sense to like bring you along just to sit on the camera because, just sorry, just to sit on the tripod because number one, you won't be able to see very much. Um, and it's just gonna make it way too complicated. You know, I do like bringing you along to show you how I film these things and what my thought process is, but I don't know if it will work this time. What am I doing? So, yeah, I'm gonna go shoot it. But as I pack, let's talk through Siri. Pod vlog quickie. Um, yeah, so I've been getting a lot of comments. Something went wrong. Please try again. No, it, it was perfect. You did it perfectly. Um, you know when you watch a movie and you either, you either love the character or you really can't stand that character. They just like grate on you so badly. You're like, as you're watching, you're like, oh, I hate that character so much. That is brilliant acting. That is the way the character has been designed for you to feel that way. And so when you feel that way, you feel that way because they've made you feel that way. And when people make comments on my videos, like of me being a wuss or a pussy or something like that, it's because I've made them think that I'm being a wussy or a pussy. Right, because there's this big bravado that People who are big on social media need to be the best. They need to be perfect. They need to know everything. They need to be the best at everything. Like, 
just a, I'm just a normal dude <laughs> making videos for fun. I'm I'm not special, and I do want to. And this is where it gets kind of twisted. I want to push the narrative that I'm just a normal person, not that I'm better than anyone else, or that you should aspire to be me. I think from a personality and the way I live my life, like through these vlogs, you should aspire to be me. That sounds crazy to say, that sounds crazy. But I, I feel that way because I live my life to try and turn my son into the best human he can possibly be. And so I feel like I'm doing life the right way so if I want my son to be like that, why wouldn't I think that's a good thing for someone else to be like that? Right? I know that sounds weird, but it is what it is. Look at these topics. I'm forgetting that I don't have these, this mic on. I've just got a shotgun mic above and I keep walking away. Uh, Alright, let's, let's just stop that for now because I'm slow as hell at packing when I don't have this mic on. So I'm going to go out. I'll be back in an hour or two. Hopefully this video will be shot. And then we'll get into editing it. And then I'll plan out day four of the sauna. It's been a like, crazy week, hasn't it? But just goes to show, I can make a video a day. If I want to, if I put my mind to it. Especially with this GPT script I made. All right, see you in a, a couple of hours, but it's going to be like a minute for you, isn't it? Less than that, seconds. Double chin. All right, you lumpy goober. Uh, so I kind of lost track of time, really. The video went really well. Got everything I needed. I've got, I've got a couple of clips. Um, <coughs> you know, what, I'll throw those in now and then get on to what I was about to talk about. Kind of interesting. <laughs> Okay, so time kind of got away from me. I forgot, like it's perfect timing now, but I forgot about the post that I had to post today, which is day three of the uh, sauna series. Uh, so it's like 10 past one, perfect time to be posting for me and my audience. I would say that when, if you see so much about like gurus saying, post at this specific time, or like, this is the best time for you. No, that won't make any difference until such time as you have a big following. It's like, um, what the, what's the easiest way I can, I can explain this? If you want to find the average speed of a human, but you only have five people's speed, it's not going to give you a very accurate average, is it? But if you have 500,000 people's speed, you can get a pretty good average out of that. And it's the same thing. So this is the best time for me. You know, I'll screen record and you can see the whole process. Okay, so video is in my feed. I'm going to go to TikTok. Surprisingly, I'll just show my dad some metrics. Remind me. Oh. Pod vlog note. Understanding metrics and the conversation I had with dad. Cool. All right, so I'm going to pick up a comment from a pre yeah from a previous video, and this all seems very inadvisable. That seems like I like that comment. So we're going to reply with video. Oh gosh. Then add this video. This is day three of my five day app of sauna journey and it's load last. Oh shoot. It's lucky I checked it. Look. I forgot to add in clips here, so this is day three let's go back to the drawing board. Sauna journey and, and do that. So stop this recording. Open up. I think you can go. I think because I've been 
so busy this week with trying to make all this content and then trying to do the sponsor posts on top of it and some of the other conversations I've had on the side. I haven't been, I've deprioritized taking the clips out of my YouTube videos to post on the social medias. So I need to get back to the videos this week and I can probably do that tomorrow or Friday. All right, uh, I'll share my screen. On day one, I barely made it to 10 minutes and day two, I brought in iced water. To okay. So day, let's go to day one. I thought I did add in clips. I oh, know I added them in for part two. This is all pretty higgledy piggledy, isn't it? Oh no. Uh, I forgot what I said about day two. But let's pull the bits I need from here. So that and that. Let's bring those over. Don't I sound so terribly sick? Oh, interestingly, about my edit, um, I found that the camera I was using, the DJI Action 2 inside of the sauna, regulated pretty quickly. And so it didn't show much of the mist in the shot and, did, and, and it essentially just looked like nothing in the room. So I made a quick edit, I'll show you, I'll show you. Let's peel off this, get that out. So, and then, so this is the original shot and you can see it just doesn't look like anything's going on. So I added a bit of a Gaussian blur to it and then I copied the clip on top. I added another Gaussian blur a slight color adjustment where I think I just reduced the saturation and then dropped the opacity down and that gave it a really nice misty look to bring back what I lost because the camera made its own adjustments. Oopsie daisy. It's on day one, I, I barely made it to... Why do I think this is a good shot? Hold on. On day one, I barely... On day one, I... I barely made it... I barely... I think this is a good shot because it shows that it's day one. It shows that I'm setting up the sauna. And then we have this one. On day one, I barely made it to 10 minutes, and day two, I booked the... And day two, and day two, So I would stretch this one out slightly. I'm not sure we'll need this one, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna just, like, make it invisible. <laughs> okay, now I'm going back to part two to get some clips from this. I didn't even flip in remember what I needed. Okay. So again, let's bring you down. I think I can... I don't need this clip, but let's have that. And then... I think drinking the ice water is the move. Yes, this one. Also get the nipple one in there. Who wouldn't like it? Yes, pal. I like a bit of nipple play. <laughs> so I'm not sure about that one. There we go. 
nights and day two, I brought in ice water to not shrivel up. But it snowed last night, so I set up out in the snow with a portable generator. Tinkies, it is the... Okay, let's see what this looks like. This is day three of my five day at home sauna journey and it snowed last night, so I'm doing it outside. On day one, I barely made it to 10 minutes and day two, I brought in ice water to not shrivel up. But it snowed last night. Perfect. Well done, Oliver. So then export this beauty. This is part three, yes. And I'm going to name it part three. Sauna, that's a good naming convention. And then we'll go back into the upload process. I tell you what, I know AirDrop is now available on Windows or whatever, but I love AirDrop just being able to, you know, so nice. You might be wondering... Oliver, why do you, like, why does my timeline look like this, if you understand what my timeline looks like? So, this first section here, let me do that. This first section is a video. And so when I'm making a new video, I take, the, like, if this is the second part, I take the first video I've created, and I'll add all of my new clips to the beginning. So... Here was my process. This one's a little bit weird, but my process was start part one. This is just a clean timeline. As you go in here, you'll see the only thing here is everything for part one. And then because I did part three next, pretend this is part two, okay? You have part three. Let me delete this. So I have duplicated the, the part one project so duplicate project as and I would name it part two in this case part three and then I would add in all of the clips I'm going to use into the front of the timeline and and then edit so that I can reach back to bits from the previous video to bring over into the first video and it helps me make sure that this series stays in alignment okay I think we're done here so Droop. Okay, stop recording that. Come on, boss man. Right. And then start recording the screen. We'll grab this comment. Why do I do this? One, because it links, it's an easy link back to the previous um, video in the series and because it's kind of I think provocative provocative so then I'll set the duration of this to only last a few seconds and I'll cut it so that there's, there's two ways of thinking here one I want it pretty short at the beginning because I don't want someone to like I don't want it to show up halfway through the video or be there for the whole video because if someone gets slightly bored with this video, they have that to tap on and go to the other video. And yes, while they might enjoy the other video, that only means they watch this video for like halfway through or wherever they clicked off of it from. So my thinking here is that if it's at the beginning and it's quick, then they get stuck into the video. It's one less reason for them to leave. And then when they finish the video, obviously it auto loops back and they can then see it again to go and click on it to find the previous video. Very smart, Oliver. Okay, and then, I don't normally do this actually, but in this case, I will. Um, so I, I'm going to use the same, what's it called? title day three of my sauna journey and then I needed to add in some anchor bits I'm gonna stop 
screen recording because just in case there's something in these emails that's very private. Um, so I'm just grabbing the hashtags that they want added to it. I've come up with the idea that um, the hashtags will change the um, audience that the video goes to. And so I think having your own um, hashtags that you use video in and video out I think is very important, then you add these on top of that. So prim your video will primarily go out to the same audience that it normally does, in addition to the audience that the brand are trying to target. Right, tag people. Anchor Solix this time. Anchor Solix. There is power official. Is that the right one? Yes. Done. Skip. Oh, need to put add in here. Add. Day three of my sauna journey. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I have a theory. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. Did I, I don't know if I mentioned it this morning. If I did, then we'll have a cut here so that you don't have to listen to me ramble on about this again. About ads and the paid partnership disclosure. All right, so I think this is good to post. At home sauna part three. I think giraffes, because I want to check. <laughs> giraffes. Sounds like giraffes. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, it's the same verbiage. All right, we've tagged someone. We've accepted the music usage confirmation. Anything else that they need? Just the link in bio. All right. In that case... We hit post. Is that everything? Yeah, post. Um, okay, while it uploads, I can't get out of the app, but then I'm going to copy over the link to put in my bio. Very nice. Copy link. <laughs> bio. Update the bio. Shaver. Solix C1000 and then update the link that's not the perfect way I should do it is it I should be adding my link tree it's not link tree it's links.co admin just adding the different links to my links alright while I do this Oh yeah. If you when you watch a piece of sponsor, let's say you're on TikTok, right? And you're scrolling, and you see a post that either has that paid partnership label or says sponsored. I've asked a few people now, and regardless of whether you actually like that creator's content normally, you scroll right instinctively. You don't give it a second chance. 
So that would mean that you have, uh, oh yeah, I can show you actually. That would mean that you have a behavior that looks like this, as I was explaining to my dad. Can you see it? Okay, so you see a huge drop off at the beginning. So in fact, at, at the three second mark, I would say at, at three seconds, for a video to do well, you'd expect to have 70% of people still watching plus. So at three seconds here, you're looking at only 10% of people are still watching, which is, which is terrible. And so what this tells me is one of three things. It tells me, I'm going to read the text I sent to my dad. Um, it tells you that either... The content was just bad. The person who's running the ads targeted the wrong audience. So let's say you're running, the video is about a product for mothers with babies and you hit an audience of 18 to 24 year old males. I'm gonna scroll immediately. Or people saw that it was a sponsored post or a paid partnership post and just scrolled. Now, this is the behavior of a video that you, of someone that goes viral, of a video that goes viral. So at the 70% mark over here, you have above 70% still watching, and then it tails off to around 25% watching at the end. That's what you'd want. Now, I think I do actually have the photo of a screenshot of the metrics. I do. So, this is a video I made for Panasonic that was a paid partnership. Look at the metrics at three seconds. At 70%. And obviously you could see a tail off here at the end. But which then the tail off is probably why the video didn't perform well, you know, in itself. However, this information at the beginning of it shows that People didn't just scroll because it was a paid partnership post. Like they enjoyed watching it through up to a point that they got bored. Which then pushes me onto the idea that actually, I think TikTok were throttling paid partnership posts over like this Q4 period because you know, one of the things I mentioned earlier, because they're not getting a cut of that. And two, because they've seen that viewers are experiencing too many ads. And so they're not gonna throttle their own ads that people are paying for. Instead, they're gonna throttle the paid partnership posts, which is gonna also push the people who have money behind those posts to pump ad money into them. That's my theory. I think it's a pretty good theory but that's my theory. What is going on here? Why won't you? You're not working, pal. Here we go. So I'm gonna add a new link here. We do URL button. What have I done there? I'm now adding in the link that they would like. Uh, get the Anchor Solix C1000 portable power station. I used in the sauna video. Um, this is the portable power, what am I doing? Portable power station. I use in the sauna video in day three of the sauna. And for the 
catching a ball from a drone video. Cool dude. I should add a photo of it, which I should get from here. And then add it in over the R. I don't know what I'm doing. I like this one. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, Gavna. And let's go. We'll save this current frame. Save it as one. Yes. Sorry, I'll share my screen. Okay. So, as you can see, the image that's showing there, we don't like that. That's pretty naff. There's naff blood in it. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, I gotta get back to zero. Done. All right. Create that, and then also, I want to get the current link I have in my bio. Copy link. And we're going to do URL button not what I was hoping for. I'm going to go and just get it from the dude. <laughs> oh man. Just all of a sudden feel pretty rubbish. Where are where is this link? Here we go. I always want to make sure I'm using the exact links that they send me. Because if not, I could be in big trouble. And let's go get a screen grab from the straight razor. My throat's hurting now. I'm not very pleased with some of these bottles. I had these made, and I mean, I've had that one for about six or eight months now. But as you can see, the writing's kind of come off. The jinkies has come off. Yeah, just where I hold it. I mean, I use them every day, so it's hardly surprising. But if I create another set, I'll make sure that a better ink is used. I don't really know. That, that Oliver is a great one. Save current frame. One. Straight razor. Panasonic. Bob's your uncle. And then I upload that one. So we'll replace. This, I mean... I know my organization isn't brilliant here, but it's good enough to get what I need. And for me to like know where everything is. Um, title is the Panasonic GB42 Shaver. Here's the tasty little shaver I used in part four of my straight razor TikTok series. I didn't update, did it? Done. There we go.
Perfect. And now I put my links back in my bio. Edit profile website. Paste. Uh, yeah. Cool, we're up at 325 already, which is good. Uh, I need to copy over all the footage. I need to finish writing the script, not video script, but the script I have for when my computer, like, so I run a pro, well, ideally I wouldn't have to run the program. The program would just run automatically that when a certain device name, so like, uh, when SanDisk 2 is recognized, that's a stupid idea. When like, I don't know, Insta360 1X3 is recognized, immediately copy over to the most recent file name that matches whatever. But just haven't gotten around to finishing it off. Maybe that's something I can do next week. Because it would save a lot of time. So I made a note to talk with you about what I was sharing with my dad about the numbers, the metrics. But I guess I did already go through that with you. Uh, sorry. Um, all right, let me... Oh, I need to pull everything out, don't I? That was actually really fun today, doing this video. I really enjoyed that uh, because it's just, you know, it just, well, it sounds so stupid, doesn't it? Just, excuse me, an enjoyable time doing something like trying out new drones, riding a hoverboard around, excuse me, making videos that I love making. What more could you ask for? And I know, I understand that I'm in a very privileged position. And actually, I saw a clip of Ninja this morning. And I, the caption, so it wasn't his video, but the caption to the video was uh, Ninja just telling us all to work, to stream for four to five hours on top of work and whatever we have going on. And painted him in a bad light as if he was out of touch. But what was nice was the comments actually agreed with what Ninja was saying in that it is, I think is a stupid idea to quit your job and just to start trying and make content. That's, it's, unless you've been like, unless you've been in that space and you've been trying to make content, it's the most ridiculous idea that anyone could have. I mean, think about this. Think that you work in software engineering and someone's like, oh, dude, finance is where it's at. Let's go and like sell some stocks and shares. You're like, hell yeah. All right, let's go and do that on our own. Quit my job and I'm going to go and do this. You don't know what the, what the hell you're doing. You don't know where to start. You don't know what you're going to do next. It's a stupid idea. And I did it for eight years, seven, eight years of working a full-time job and making content to get to this point that I'm in now. And I, you know, I think streaming four or five hours a night, if, you've, if you're single, great, do it. If you're in a relationship, you're, you're probably going to end that relationship. Correction, you're not going to end that relationship. They're going to end that relationship. I've got a buddy who, a buddy, <laughs> I've got a friend I went to school with back home and he started making content fairly recently, but he started within the last like two, three years. He had a gaming channel and it was doing pretty well. Like I think he had like nearly 250K followers, decent views on each video. And then one day I noticed that he hadn't uploaded in like six months. 
So I asked him why. And he said, I j number one, he was losing himself. And number two, every minute outside of work, he was spending gaming and making content. So, and his, obviously his missus took issue with that. Like, of course, why wouldn't you take issue with that? Like you're, you, you, you get into this partnership with someone and then they take up this crazy thing that takes up so much time and you no longer have the same dynamic. Of course, there's going to be an issue. Um, what, the, what name am I thinking of here? Hover Air X1. Okay. Now, it, you know, it's very understandable that it's, it's hard to make time outside of work. Like maybe your, your job takes a lot, of, lot out of you. And it's just really difficult for you to be able to, you know, do that on top of what you're doing. But then that goes back to how much do you want the thing you think you want to be doing? Where are you, you wee? Oh, no. Did I? Did I drop that out? Please don't tell me I did. I think I might have. That would be a bummer. I have, haven't I? You don't see the other parts of this anywhere, do you? That is a Barack Obama. I'm gonna have to go back there. Darren. Okay, well, I'll go get that in a minute. Um, yeah, I was quite, quite fortunate that my wife was okay with me. I, I, there was a point where I was spending like two, three hours a night working on my stuff. Well, you know, after I came home from my job, but I think she understood where I wanted to be and where I wanted to go. Uh, and now she's reaping the benefits of it because I get to stay home. I get to take time out to be with her, be with Ruga, and I'm way happier. In. Which one is that? Okay, so I can get rid of this one. We have got lots of video in here. get all of this out. I This drone, I actually am very impressed by it. I would use this for other videos because I don't, like, taking off from your palm, I don't have to connect a controller, I don't have to unfold the wings, the propellers. I can just take it off from my hand, click follow me, does all of it. So good, so, so good. So in times where I would normally have taken my drone, like my other drone, my DJI drone, I may take this one in place. And given the size of it as well, like it's so thin. I, I guess I can show you. Whoops. Yeah, look how thin that is. Is that already copied? Nice.
Okay, let's see if I can actually, oh, there's no input. I don't have to download everything to my phone and then send it. Plus, I need to get that thing anyway. The base for this. Send that. And then I need to edit this, which, you know, I was thinking about this hover video. Because it's a paid partnership, I always think paid partnerships do better when it's part of a series. So I was thinking, what can I do as a prelude to this? And I was thinking, maybe use like my other drone. But I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I just assets. Okay. I'm done, and then I can delete. Um, uh, also, I mentioned that we had a, I would have a call with Saunabox. We did have that call earlier. Guy seemed really cool. Um, and, you know, we, we talked about doing TikTok videos. And I, we were actually pretty, you know, both on the same wavelengths of this, that I don't think single, like one or two post partnerships are the move. I think it's going to be long term, like over the course of a year or two year, a brand pays a creator a stipend, and then they use that in their videos as and when they please. Now, that's one thing for like TikTok videos where I only make like, maybe one a day. But for like these type of videos, let's let's just say it's a sauna and the this all works out and like we make some kind of partnership. I could do a segment in the morning, you know, once a week, a couple of times a week, however much I want to do a sauna session and then include that in the videos, right? And it's not necessarily like, but I hate doing ads that are, and I don't do them anymore, which are, here's a product, you should go and buy it because of this, 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 and this. That doesn't work. I don't want to be, I want to, I want to be sold to, right? Because I like buying things, but I don't want to feel like I'm being sold to. So my style in my videos is how can I create something that people find entertaining? They see the product and then they, the viewer has the idea in their mind of, oh, I see how I could use that in my life. I see how cool that is. That's something that I would really like. Not, I see that Oliver's trying to sell it to me, so I'm going to buy it. Okay, I just, I don't like that. You know, for other people doing it, fine, yeah, like do your thing. But for me, that's not, it's not my style, bro. Okay, that's all copied over. Good. The hover areas. And then close. All right, and then now I will, before I format everything, I'll check that I have the footage from everything and it's all working. And then when I finished the video completely, or at least I know that I have all the stuff, I'll format all the cameras so that it's ready to go for next time. Okay, I guess there's a lot there's a couple of things on here. I should go and get that now before I, before someone else nicks it, right? Okay. All right, I will, yeah, see you shortly. I guess it's a pretty good job I came back because I left one, two batteries, my AirPods, and this thing. <laughs> I also thought it would be good to get a thumbnail that I didn't get earlier, so, 
let's do that. Come on, you silly little sausage. Oh, dude. Oh, gosh. There's no battery left on this thing. Oh gosh, so this was actually so hard to ride on today. Bloody hell. I hope you're enjoying this. Yeah, so this um, is like squishy, so I don't know if you've ever ridden one of these, but like riding them on carpet is one thing. Riding them on like wet mud, well wet-ish grass is another thing. And then trying to balance when it's not on, because this is dead. Oh, that'll do. Why are I so zoomed in? I don't... I mean, I like and I don't like this camera. It's just because, like, this is arm's length. And it's pretty decent. But like when you compare this to the camera that I've been using at home, it's just really cropped in, in comparison. But glad we found it, and my AirPods, and my, excuse me, my batteries. That's good. <laughs> I love the camera bag that I use. It's the Brevet, Brevite Jumper, I think it's called. I love it, it's, it's been amazing. But one thing that I always mess up on is opening the top flap. I've never been good with flaps, but opening the top flap and things just falling out. All right, here we go. All right, see you at home. Yo, I made some really nice changes to the script. I don't remember the last thing I said before this clip. I think it was out at the getting my stuff back. Anyway, recording the the script of the friggin' what's it called? The the talking for the TikTok. Jeez. I made some really nice changes. So I went from my hook being I'm going to play hide and seek against a drone, except I'm on a hoverboard. And then the next line being, the drone took off from my palm and I could feel my hide and seek champion glory days coming back. Go on, go on, go on. I changed it to, as the reigning hide and seek champion, I'm going to play against a drone. I'm going to play against a drone. Sorry. <laughs> as the reigning hide and seek champion, I'm going to play against a drone designed to track people except I'm on a hoverboard. The drone took off from my palm and I set off to hide, but realized I hadn't switched the drone from blah, blah, blah. That intro, I think, like saying that I'm the reigning hide and seek champion is stupid, but everyone's played hide and seek. And I think getting that in there and like being the champion is something that it takes everyone back to their childhood. We'll see if it plays out, but I think it will. Um, I feel terrible and it's late in the day. I'm gonna edit some now and then I'm probably gonna finish in like 10, 15 minutes and I'll edit the rest tonight. But I think that's it here. Like I, I should bring you through another edit soon, shouldn't I? I'm afraid I don't have the time for it right now to talk through all the decisions I make. I still got, I got loads of topics that I wrote down to talk through today. So we'll save those for tomorrow. Hopefully I feel better. See see you soon. Ta-ra.